Peoples, Kyushu92 here, and welcome back to another episode of My Hero Mondays. Today we're going to be checking out Volume 9 of My Hero Academia, specifically titled My Hero. Let's get on with it. Chapter 72, Day 2. Now, as a recap, we last left off with the class of 1A going through all their final exams. Some students didn't make it, so they're going to have to make up with some supplementary tests and exams that are going to be uh, headed by Aizawa Sensei himself. And they all get into a bus heading to their next location to, you know, improve their quirk abilities. So, at that time, we are met with the Wild Wild Pussycats, which is a teamwork-based hero group, which kind of just jumpstarts their training immediately. Because they're in this giant, large mountain range where they can all freely use their quirks in order to improve them. Because as far as we... As far as we've seen, the students of UA haven't had the time to actually improve upon their quirks. Sure, they had rudimentary training and rescue training and all that in between, but they never got the chance to actually showcase, to actually have the moment to improve their quirks overall. Such as Bakugo. His, str his throwing strength barely increased over their first test when they first arrived at UA. So... In this chapter, we're in this volume, we're going to go ahead and check it out. Alright. Improve on our quirks? Class A's already at it, so let's get moving. Class A stole the spotlight every time in the first semester, so the second semester is going to be Class B's time to shine. And this is Class B homeroom teacher, Blood King, Blood Hero, Vlad King. Got that? Not a cla not Class A. Us! Sensei, sorry we haven't made you proud. You say improve our quirks like it's nothing, but there's 20 of us, all with different quirks. How do we each go about doing this? Can't we just get some details here? Overusing your muscles ends up tearing, ends up tearing the fibers, but then they recover and get thicker and stronger. Quirks are the same. They get stronger through continued use and weaker if they're underutilized. Which means there's only one thing you gotta do. SMASH YOUR LIMITS! And as this panel shows, all the students of, U of, U of 1A are pretty much testing the limits of their abilities. We got... Is that Aoyama? No! That's Uraraka! Getting over her, I guess, motion sickness. Then we got Bakugo increasing his toughness of his hands to improve his bomb quirk. We got Todoroki trying to re learn to regulate his body temperature with both his different sides. We got someone... Screaming in a cave. I'm gonna guess that's Tokoyama. Looks like a scene of heck on earth. This is borderline. This is bordering on torture. Operative types with maximum output levels need to raise their limits. Heteromorphic and composite types need to further train, further train those extra parts and appendages. Normally, you'd be doing all this at the same rate that your bodies grow. But there's no time for all that. Get to it, Class B. Oh, wait. Oh, that was Aizawa. Normally you'd be doing all this at the same rate that your body grows. But there's no time for all that. Get to it, Class B. But there's 40 of us all together. How can the six of us oversee all... How can the six of you oversee all of us in our quirks? That's why we have these ladies. That's right! We're four parts of a whole! Rocking with these sparkling gazes, we've come to lend a paw and help! We've come from somewhere. Stingingly cute and cat-like! Wild, wild pussycats! Full version. My quirk is search. I know everything about anyone I lay eyes on, up to a hundred people at a time, including location and weaknesses. Ragdoll. With my earth flow, I can create the perfect training environment for each of you. Yeah! Pixie Bob. And I use my telepath to give advice to each, uh, to each of you all at once. Mandalay. And who's the final dude? And I'm here to punch and kick you into shape. So many things wrong with that. Tiger. All you power-up types, you're coming with me. My boot camp's already begun. So old school. Now, come at me. Huh? 5% Detroit Smash! Okay, not quite sharp enough yet. And he's bending his body around. 
It's proof you're not ripping those muscles apart enough. And he just decks Deku. Dex Deku. Huh? Yes, sir! I can't hear you. Yes, sir! What a scary regimen. Plus ultra, right? Then show me that ultra. Not just the wrong gender, but the wrong genre, too. UA's got a lot going on. We can't all, we can't go allotting too much of the staff just to the Hero Course first years. So these four, with their track record and wide range of practical quirks, are perfect for helping you guys improve in a short amount of time. It's the most rational solution. The quirk All Might gave me was more than I could handle, but then Gran Torino taught me how to use it in a way that worked with my current body. The more you temper your vessel, the better you can control the power. What they gave me has gotten me this far, but going any further is all on me now. <laughs> okay, stretch that lame quirk until it rips apart. And then we got Coda looking in the background. Yes, sir! Nightfall at four... Nightfall? It looks like nightfall. Oh, it's probably sunset. 4 p.m. Like we said, the pampering ended yesterday. Wanna eat? Then you gotta cook for yourselves. Today is curry! Yes, ma'am. Ha! <laughs> you all look worse for wear. That's why this is no mere kitty chow you'll be making. But of course, in times of disaster and evacuation, someone needs to fill the bellies and soothe the souls of fatigued citizens. That too is part of rescue operations. Naturally, UA never misses a teaching opportunity, so let's make the tastiest curry in the world, everyone! Yeah! It is handy to have around. And as they start cooking... Can we get some fire over here, Todoroki? Bakugo, you can't make fire with explosions. Just watch me, darn it! Everyone, if we always rely on him, we'll never be able to learn to make... We'll never learn to make fires ourselves! As she uses her quirk to make a fire... St uh fire starter nah it's fine and then Todoroki just conveniently lights the oven Woo! thanks a lot burn 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 it all no good if it's all burnt and Todoroki's just smiling he likes being useful bon appetit probably not quite good enough to serve at a restaurant but given our situation this is beyond delicious speak for yourself jerk you sure can pack it in Momo Yao Yes. My cork converts my body fats into a variety of atoms, so the more I store up, the more I can produce. Just like poop. And all of a sudden, he gets slapped by Jiro as m <laughs> Yao Yorozu goes off in a corner to soak. Dude! That's like Luffy levels of rude. Freaking quirks. So ridiculous. And Koda's off by himself, and Midoriya sees this. I bet you're hungry. Here's a plate for you, because he went all the way up to his own secret hiding spot up in the mountains. Here's a plate for you. It's curry. You! How'd you know I was here? Oh, oh, sorry. I followed your footprints, though you might want some food. Nope, don't want it. Like I said, I don't feel like fraternizing with you people. So get away from my secret base! And he's just glaring at him. Secret base, huh? Improving quirks, stretching them to the limits, all so gross. Flaunting your power like that. Your parents, by chance, is one of them water hoes? The hero with the water quirk? Did Mandalay tell you? Oh, no, I mean, sorry. We were just talking, and from the conversation, I thought that might be it. It was unfortunate what happened. I remember it. Shut up. You're all freaking nuts. Calling yourselves heroes or villains and going around killing each other like idiots. Talking about your quirk all the time, all just to show off. Idiots. It's not just heroes. He's got a problem with quirks and other and our superpowered society. What's your problem? If you're done here, then get out! It's... it's just, um, uh, a friend of mine, he didn't inherit any quirks from his parents. Huh? It's a birth defect that rarely happens. He still admired heroes, though, but in our society, someone without a quirk can't become a hero. For a while, he just couldn't accept the truth. So he trained. He tried pulling objects telepathically. He tried breathing fire. Everyone views quirks differently. Nothing about them is absolute. But if you keep rejecting everything, you're only going to make 
You're only going to cause yourself more pain. So, um... You don't know when to shut up! Just go! Anyway, I've just been rambling. Sorry. I'll leave the curry here. And as we look at a panel, we see a wet wall with a dent in it. So does Coda have a quirk as well? It never ends with these guys. So annoying. And then... I'm itching. Itching to go. Let's hurry up and move. It's too soon. Besides, as I've already told you, there's no need to do anything flashy. Yeah, but who died and made you pause? This will be just a signal fire. We're here to fill those heroes full of holes and put them in their place. All for a brighter future. It's the League of Villains! Being led by Dobby! Mm, I love this manga. Chapter 73, good evening! Good mythical evening! Sorry, Retin Link. I mean, this is no good. Not cute at all. Our shadowy orchestrator has planned everything. Despite appearances, there's sure to be sound reasoning behind it all. Not asking. I'm not asking about any of that. Just saying this isn't cute. Who the heck cares? Let's just get down. Let us get down there. My blood's pumping over here. Shut up, you whack jobs. Not yet. We wait. Oh boy, I love voicing Dobby so much. Until all ten are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Job. A job. Doesn't matter how many punks with ambition you bring along, that only increases the risks. It's far better to have a small number of experienced elites. First, we'll make them understand that their peace rests in our hands. And it has panels of the boys dorm and the girls dorm, everyone sleeping. The third day, noon. The quirk improvement training continues. Remedial group, why'd you stop moving? Sorry, just a little sleepy. Those extra lessons yesterday. And it's just nothing but remedial bedtime, wake up time, ordinary bedtime. It's just, oh, I hate to be in that remedial class. I told you this would be rough. Sato and Kaminari, reaching your limits is a matter of life and death. To increase that capacity, repeat it and extend it quirk use is key. Cero. In addition to extending your capacity, you need to strengthen your tape and increase its firing speed. Ashido, you need to improve your skin's resistance against your acid during periods of extended use. And finally, Kirishima, building those muscles and making your body even harder will create a nice synergy effect. But most importantly, you all have to make up for your poor performances during the final exam. Think about that when the others are doing fine and you lot are dead on your feet. Uraka! Aoyama! You guys too. You didn't quite manage to fail, but it was a close call. You needed 30 points to pass and you two got 35. Close one! How vexing! So don't let up. You're all looking sluggish today. Always be conscious of who you are. That's the key to improvement. That's why you're out here sweating. Why I'm riding you so hard. Keep it in mind, always. Yo, Aizawa don't play. Who I am, who I am, who I am! Bakugo, Todoroki, and Midoriya, respectively. By the way, Aizawa-sensei, this is the third day. Don't look so limp, I just told you to stay firm. But is All Might, are the other teachers gonna come? As I explained before we left, we're keeping staff to a minimum to make it harder for the villains to pin us down. That's why you're lodging with us for! As for All Might, he's more than likely one of the villain's targets, so of course he won't be coming here. For better or worse, he's a guy who tends to stand out. That's why. Emphasis on the worst, I'm guessing. I see. Meh, meh, meh. Listen, everyone. Tonight, both classes are going head-to-head -head in a test of courage. Your reward for intensive training is some intense fun. It's the carrot and stick approach. Ah, almost forgot about that. 
Seriously? I hate scary things. A banquet of darkness. Oh, Tokoyami. Some special event they got planned for us? Class is going head to head. I like it. With that said, work your butts off in the meantime. Yes, ma'am. Who I am starts with All Might. And as uh, Bakugo is cutting... Bakugo, I'm really surprised. You're like a pro with the kitchen knife. Surprise the heck, how can you be... Surprise? The heck, how can you be bad with a knife? Whoa, I haven't seen him actually be good at anything in a while. How's everyone so full of energy? So, what'd you want with All Might? Heard you ask Aizawa-sensei about him. Right, just about Koda, that's all. Koda? Who's that? Huh? That kid! He's over... Oh, he's gone. Maybe he's at that secret base. He doesn't really like us. He really doesn't like us. When it comes to heroes, well, he just... He's got something against Quirk in our superpowered society. I just couldn't get him to come around. But All Might, I bet he could find the right words. What would you tell him, Todoroki? It all depends. Well, sure, but... Without knowing his background, some righteous speech from a stranger would just be annoying. Words alone have to be pretty meaningful to really move someone. What actually matters is what the person saying it has done, what they're doing in life. He gotta back up words with actions, I think. He does have a point, though, in some instances. It's only you, timid and quirkless, who acted. You spurred me to action. You can be a hero. I was literally thinking about that quote when I was in the shower, just uh, before I did this video. Of course, you're right. Why should he care what a stranger has to say? I'm not sure what you're trying to get out of him, but it's not good butting into such a delicate situation. You tend to do that, surprisingly. Sorry. Do I see idle hands over there? We're supposed to be making the world's greatest stew! Now then! Bellies are filled and plates are clean. Next up, the test of courage! Sorry to break it to you, remedial group. You've got your extra lessons with me now. No way! Oh, Ashido looks so devastated. And they're all getting dragged by Aizawa. Aizawa's got to be a strong dude to drag all four of them at once. Four? I want to say four? No, five! All five of them at once. Sorry, but you were slacking during training earlier, so now I'm going to cut into your playtime. Give us a break! Test our courage! Right. Class B will be on the offensive first. Class A will head into the forest in teams of two. One team every three minutes. You're, you'll find name cards at the halfway point. Grab your own and then come back here. Banquet of Darkness. That line again. Kinda quiet around here with the usual troublemakers out of the picture. The scarers aren't allowed to make direct contact. They'll just be using their quirks to start at you as best they can. So get creative! Whichever class makes the other wet their pants more wins! Please don't. That's gross. I see! It's an opportunity to work on our ingenuity through competition, as well as a chance for us to broaden the utility of our quirks. I expected no less of you, eh? Teams of two. Wait, there are 20 of us, minus the five getting extra lessons. That leaves one extra. Since we drew lots, it was inevitable that someone would be alone. Hey, Tail, switch with me. Switch with me, Aoyama? Oh. Bakugo wants to switch with Todoroki, and Mineta wants to switch with Aoyama so he can be with uh, Yayorozu. Why me? Twelve minutes later, people are screaming in the forest. Go on, Team 5. Your turn, Ribbit. Your turn, Ribbit Kitty and Uraraka Kitty. I'm scared, Suyu. You hear all those screams? Gotta be Kyoka and Toru. Hands, hold hands and we'll be fine. I'm not scared. And then we got people laughing in the forest. Kodai, that scare tactic of yours is sending them all running. Put yourself on the line. Put yourself on the line, Yui. Bakugo and Todoroki are totally gonna wet themselves. <sighs> and they both just say, oh. <laughs> oh, that's it? Hey, have you girls noticed... 
Smells like something's burning. Huh? Now that you mention it, where's the smoke coming from? Maybe we really should scare those two and make their quick fire off. And he falls over. Honinuki! Yoi! Don't breathe the smoke! Because apparently there's sleeping gas going on. And she uses her cork to completely cover her up. And there's just like this gas filling the forest. What's that burning smell? Look, black smoke! And it's Dobby. Let's begin. Put them in their places. League of Villains Vanguard's Action Squad. And then we got Toga sneaking up on Uraka and Asui. Stay out of our way, kitty cats. How? How? Even with all our precautions. How? How are there villains here? And they got Pixie Bob. No, Pixie Bob. Pixie Bob. Darn. <gasps> Coda! Cause Coda's by himself. Chapter 74, Smoke Signal! Ah, we wanted to try the test of courage too! If this is the card and stick approach, then where's our carrot? If this is the carrot and stick approach, then where's our carrot? Forget the carrot, we'd, take, we'd even take celery at this point, Sensei. Celery is delicious. In today's remedial lesson, we'll be drilling you on what to do in emergency situations. Not being very, not being aware of how much you're falling behind the others will only widen that gap. So in a broader sense, this is your carrot. A bitter carrot, maybe. Isn't that funny? The stupendous Class A managed to produce five whole failures, while Class B only had a single one. What the heck is your malfunction? This dude really has it in for Class 1A. He was gloating about this yesterday, too. I want to know what makes him tick. Vlad. Vlad, I think we should add a practical portion this time. Don't have to tell me twice. I was thinking that too. Everyone! That's Mandalay with her telepath quirk. I love it. Always gives me a shock. Kind of sucks that it's a one-way connection, though. Pipe down. We're under attack by two villains, and there might be more out there. All those who can should get to camp at once. If you encounter an enemy, don't engage, just retreat. How the villains know? Vlad, I'm leaving these guys with you. I'm heading out to protect the students. How did our location get leaked? I'd rather not imagine. This is bad. Oh, snap, and right next to Aizawa is Dobby. Always worrying about others, huh, Racerhead? Vlad! And it's just a massive wall of flame that just pops up. You pro heroes, stay out of our way. You're not the ones we've got a beef with. I want to know Dobby's story, but I'm pretty sure once I start to catch up to the rest of the chapter, so I'm going to find out. Pleased to meet you, UA students. We're the League of Villains Vanguard Action Squad. League of Villains? How'd they find us? Should I go ahead and crush her pretty little skull? Should I? What do you guys think? As if I'd let you. Wait, wait, don't be hasty, big sis mag. You too, tiger, calm down. Holding power over someone's life is everything. Holding power over someone's life is everything. Or don't you believe in following Stain's tenets? Stain? So these are his followers. Yep, we sure are, and we know about you, Four Eyes. You're one of the ones who brought about Stain's End in Hosu City. Let me introduce myself. I'm Spinner, and I intend to make his dreams come true. And he has like a massive sword that's all made of blades. Like, think of Cloud's combined uh, buster sword, but they're not in any shape or fashion made to look like one big sword. They're just blades sticking out being held together by belts and chains. Wow, I never noticed that. It's being held by belts and chains. Huh. Well, that's all well and good, but that woman lying there, Pixie Bob, lately she started to worry about getting married, hoping to find some happiness as a woman in this world, and at this age trying very hard. How dare you scar her face like that, and stand there yapping away like it's nothing! So heroes really do dream of finding ordinary happiness in life. Tiger! 
I'll broadcast the order. Ragdoll will make sure the other students are safe. It's our job to hold them back. Get going, everyone, and remember, no fighting. Lead them, class president. Understood. Let's go. And as Midoriya looks on, and as I slowly slide out of my chair, Go on without me, Ida. What do you mean, Midoriya? Midoriya? Mandalay! I know where he is! And he's talking about Kota. And as Kendo runs away, keeping people closed up with, uh, with her giant hand quirk. Kendo! Tetsu 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 Tetsu! Ibarra! What's with the mask? Class A Yayorozu was nearby, so she made him for us. Always. Awase was guiding her to our standby spot to help the others. Use these, we got a bunch. Thanks, let's get back to camp. No telling where the villains could be out here. No, I'm gonna fight. You take care of Shio, Zaki, and Kodai. Huh, but we were told not to engage. You're always giving Mon Monoma flack, but you feel it too deep down, right? The difference between us and UA. Us and Class A. I know, I feel it anyway. We passed the same test to get into UA. We have the same curriculum. So what's the difference? It's obvious. What they've had and what we didn't. Crisis. They take every crisis and turn it into an opportunity. Get it? Heroes shouldn't be running from bad guys like this. So don't try to stop me, Kendo. I'm in class 1B of the hero course. If I don't stand up here, what's the point? I'm gonna find these jerks and beat the snot out of them. And she doesn't say anything. Coda! You hear me, Coda? Get back to camp! I'm sorry, I don't know where you're always running off to. I'm sorry, Coda. I can't come for you, so get back here. I came all... I came up here... I just came up here for the view, and what do I find? A face that wasn't on the list. By the way, that hat's pretty slick, kid. Why don't you trade me for this lame mask? I'm a newbie to the operation, so they made me wear this dumb toy. And as he starts to take off his mask, Coda runs away from him. Hey! And then he... The pressure from him digging in the ground cracks it as he jumps right in front of Coda, smashing the nearby wall that he ricochets off of. I'm gonna have fun with you. And as his arm stretches out, muscle fibers extend around his arms as well. Water hose, a fantastic, and now we have a flashback. Water hose, a fantastic pair of heroes, but their wonderful lives were tragically cut short by one heartless criminal. The suspect is still on the run as police and heroes attempt to ascertain his whereabouts. You. His quirk is a simple power-up type, making him highly dangerous. If you see this man, call the police or contact a hero immediately. At present, his left eye should be scarred from his encounter with water hose. And the guy is standing right in front of Coda. Mom! Dad! And out of nowhere comes Midoriya to save the day with full cowling. All these scammers trying to fall, call my phone. I don't know you. But he manages to save Coda in time. And then get knocked away. Why do you? Hmm. Now you were on the list. <coughs> we came out here purposely to avoid villains. So how'd they find us? Crap, and now my phone smash. I didn't tell anyone about this place before I rushed off. So there's no hope of backup this time. Alone. I'm all alone. Somehow they got to deal with this villain. Somehow I've got to deal with this villain alone. While protecting Coda, not sure if I can. No, I have to. It's gonna be okay, Coda. I got no choice here. Even if I'm on my own, I'm gonna save you. Woo wee! Chapter seventy-five. Stake your life, hero. Crap. The gas must also be the work of a villain. I'm worried about the others, but we've got to press on. We'll go around the goal and head straight to camp. Ragdoll was at the midpoint, so she can handle this area. You ordering me around? Because it's Todoroki and Bakugo. Someone's right there. Hey, who's that up ahead? Pr 
pretty. So pretty. No, this is work. So alluring, but no. Can't. Tokoyami and Shoji? Pretty flesh. Ah, so enticing, though. Gotta do the job. And it's the weird gimp dude with his mouth being peeled open. Well, held open. Don't engage, ha. Huh? And we have like a map of all the students of UA and where they are right now. UA, all yeah, pretty much all the students from class A and B. But I can't show you because I don't, I don't know. I don't think there might be copyright issues with that. It's selfish wannabe heroes like you who are the targets of our per- Oh, it's selfish wannabe heroes like you who are the targets of our purge. Hey, Spinner, you pretty cool for a villain and handsome to boot. Huh? Blushing? Really? How innocent. And she uses her telepath ability to play with his mind and slash him in the side. What the? That was dirty, you flirt. And then she gets yanked towards the one dude with the big lips. Come to me, kitty cat. You won't pull off the same- You won't pull off the same trick twice! And Tiger comes in and decks the dude. Kenji Hikishi. Villain name, Magne. Nine robberies and assault charges. Three murders, 29 attempted murders. Oh, so you've heard of me. And they both go to blows. What'd you come here for, criminal? Tiger, this is weird. Still no response from Ragdoll. She's usually quick to make contact. And now the Magne is just glaring, leering at them. You're gonna save him. <laughs> A budding hero would say that. Always spouting off about justice wherever you guys show up. Your name's Midoriya, right? This is perfect. You're high up on our kill list. I'm gonna torment you real bad. Now show me some blood. Here. Here he, and then he uses full cowling, and yo, he gets bodied into the wall. Ah, wait, better not. That's right, might as well tell me if you know. Where's the kid named Bakugo? We've got a job to do here. Catch on. And he continues to try and avoid, to try and avoid this dude, the muscle dude. They're after Kachan, but why? You don't know. That's your final answer? Fine, in that case, let's play! And he just goes to town on Midoriya. Ha 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 Blood, love it, so fun. What was that again? You're gonna save him, right? So why are you running? That's a weird way to save someone. That muscle fiber quirk. So fast and powerful. No, I can't be worried about Kachan right now. Stay focused. On the enemy in front of you. And he uses his quirk to punch into his stomach. What the? That's supposed to... What the? That's supposed to be your quirk. Pretty quick, but... Way too weak. And he just continues to throw Midoriya around. My quirk's a muscle enhancer. These muscle fibers of mine can't be contained even by my own skin. They raise the standard in speed and in power. An inferior version of me. You understand where I'm coming from. I can't help but laugh. You're gonna save him? How? Talk is cheap when you're tapping about when you're yapping about the impossible. You really ought to be honest with yourself. I'm loving this voice. <laughs> and then... Boop! Someone decks him with a rock. Water hose. My mom and dad. Did you torture them like this when you killed them? Whoa, seriously? You're their kid? This must be fate or something. Water hose. They're the pair that gave me this glass eye. Because of you and those like you, things always end Oh. Because of you and those like you, things always end up like this. Brats like you sure know how to pass the blade. 
It's no good. I really, d I don't really hold a grudge against them about my eye. I killed them just like I wanted to, and they tried to stop me. We all did our best and had to deal with the results. What's bad is when you can't put your money where your mouth is. Like your dear mommy and daddy. And all of a sudden, Midoriya comes up behind him. Aha! I knew you'd attack me, you worthless piece of trash. The one to blame is you! Can't match him in speed. Can't damage him. He's really strong. Nobody's coming to help. Which means... He jammed, yo, he jammed his arm into the muscle fibers of the dude. Now, speed doesn't matter. He jammed his broken, useless arm into my muscles. So, gonna hit me with that other weak arm of yours? Doesn't matter whether I can or can't. Because heroes, heroes stake their lives. Turning talk into action is what we do. One for all, 100%. Chapter 76, My Hero. Uh, smash! What the? This one's different from before. Oh, I just love these cover pages. They're just so good. And it's a smash so powerful it sends Koda flying off the cliff, but Midoriya manages to catch him with his teeth. That's some strong jaws you got. Sorry. Knocked And he's talking with his uh, mouth over his shirt, saying, Sorry, knocked you away. Thanks. <sighs> Why? Let's get back to camp. It's not far from here. But all of a sudden, we see the muscle dude come out. And he's covered his entire body with muscle fibers to protect himself from that hit. No way. No freaking way. That was 100%, even with All Might's power. You sure te telegraphed that punch. Not bad, Midoriya. S stay back. Not a chance. Here I come. No stopping me. What should I do? Think. I need to think. What do you want? What's the League of Vill What? What's the League of Villains after? Like I care. All I want to do is rampage. As long as I get to use my quirk without holding back, I'm good. Remember earlier when I said we were just playing? I did, for real. I said let's play and I meant it. But no more of that. Playtime's over because you're strong. So now, I'm using my serious eye. Koda, grab on! And as a massive smash happens at the spot where Midoriya it launches along with Koda, we see the muscle dude just literally break the whole mountain. That was on a whole other level compared to before. In speed and power, he really was just playing. There's no doubt. I keep sliding in this chair. Maybe I need to get Velcro. Making a game of trying to kill us. And as he tries to run away... He keeps, Muscle Dude keeps trying to get in, rain in on him. Crap, I'm way too excited. And apparently, even though he's going all out, it's very hard for him to control, so he can't land the punches on Midoriya like he was before. This is bad. Aizawa Sensei is, Aizawa Sensei is at camp. If we can make it that far, if he can erase this guy's quirk, don't hold back. But if we can make it back with him on our tail... Plus, I'm exhausted from the recent training. Trying to run away through the woods with him after all us. With him after us, we'll just... Don't think... Like, he's trying to... He's starting to get back into his rut again and trying to... Trying to monologue again. Here. Now. Gotta fight. Gotta win. There's no other option. Izuku Midoriya. Be the savior here. Remember where you came from. Get back, Koda. But not too far. But not too far. Or he'll go after you, so... Yeah, about seven paces. If he gets me, you run as fast as you can back to camp. Gets you? Come on, don't do it! It's hopeless, so let's run! You saw, your attack didn't even scratch you, man! Both your arms are broken! It's okay! 
One for all, 100%! Detroit Smash! Ah, what's wrong? That was even weaker than before. Okay, I'm okay. He's not getting one step past me, so run! Run! And he's using all of his might. His body's literally tearing from using his power. Wow, kid, you're something else. I, I gotta ease up on the voice because I hear it. I feel it messing with me. Shut up! Why? Show me some blood. A hero's always ready to smash through trouble. Sorry, Mom. Mom, I'm so sorry. All Might. All Might. Tell me, villain. Do you know the meaning of... Every hit's the real deal. Over a hundred percent of his power. I'll crush you. And then all of a sudden, he gets splashed by water. From Coda. Water. Stop! Coda. Wait your turn, Kay. I'll kill you when I'm good and ready. Then we see Midoriya starting to lift himself up. Yo, he's going beyond his power. As if I'd let you. Caught me off guard for a second. No, wait. This power. And his muscle fibers are snapping. How are you getting this strong? One for all. Kill him! One million percent! Delaware, Detroit, smash! And he just bodies muscle, dude. And he's out. Knocked out his serious eye and everything. Coda, your mom and dad, water hose. It's true they went before their time and left you behind, but it's thanks to them that lives were saved. Even though you don't know me. Even though you don't know me? You're going to meet a certain someone one day, too, and then you'll get it. Why? You don't know anything about me. Someone who will stake their life to save yours. To you, that person will be... Why go so far for me? My... my hero? Oh, the fields! Meanwhile, Chapter 77, it's okay. Will that bunch really be able to handle it? Yeah, it's not. It's still not time for me to play again, because the games change. It's been an RPG up until now. With only half-decent equips, I went and charged the final boss at level 1. But we should have been playing this like a sim. One where I'm the player moving units around and breaking through to higher ranks. But for that, we gotta put some cracks in this super-powered society. It doesn't matter whether the Vanguard Action Squad succeeds or fails. The plain fact that they made a move there will intimidate heroes. Disposable pawns, then. Don't be stupid. Do I look like such a cruel guy? Their strength's the real deal. They're all headed in different directions, but each is a reliable comrade. This society's bound hand and foot by all its darn rules, and we're not the only ones feeling suppressed. So yeah, I'm hoping they succeed. And as we cut back to Midoriya standing over to the defeated body of Muscle Dude, they still haven't given his name. Whew. And as he falls, as Midoriya falls over from overexertion. Oh, hey! I'm okay. There's still something I have to take care of. What could she possibly do all banged up like that? I knew he'd keep his guard up. That's why I didn't hold back. Even accounting for that, I was expecting to do massive damage. But that villain is insanely strong. If all the villains attacking tonight are on his level, everyone's in trouble. And they might be after us students. I need to tell Aizawa-sensei and the Pussycats what I know. If my actions can save any of them, then I've got to do something. We'll leave this villain here for now. My arm might have been messed up and weakened, but I still damaged him pretty good. He won't wake up anytime soon. Even if he does, he's not going anywhere. But first and foremost, I gotta protect you. Huh? There's only one. There's one thing only you can do. 
With the forest ablaze like this, pretty much every path's gonna be blocked off. Get it? We need your quirk here. You can help us, just like how you saved me earlier. So hop on. First, I'm getting you back to camp. Can you still move with those injuries? This is what I saved my legs for. Where's Bakugo? I got a bad feeling about this. A few minutes earlier, while Aizawa and Dobby clashed, and they're going back and forth with Dobby's firepower. Well, guess that's a pro for you. Not gonna work. Whoa. And Aizawa lands. Aizawa lands a hit square in Dobby's face. Your objective, numbers and positions. Spill it. Why should I? And he just slams his head back into the dirt. Because of this. Your right arm. Oh. He didn't just slam his head into the ground. He pretty much broke his arm. Your right arm's next. Let's do this rationally. If I get as far as your legs, it'll be a hassle for the arresting officers. What's got under your skin, Eraser? What it, and then there's a massive explosion. What is... Sensei! And in that moment of off-guardedness, Dobby manages to slip out. With this much damage, I'm just about done for. Quite worthy of being an instructor... Uh, uh, quite worthy of being an instructor at UA. Ain't that right, hero? As Aizawa stares him down... Is it cause your students are so precious? So that flame attack wasn't his quirk. Hope you got what it takes to protect them. See you later. Sensei, what was that? Get inside. I'll be back soon. Ah, you're no good, Dobby. Darn you. You got done in so weak, you're just fodder. Already? That was weak. Huh? Don't be silly and don't jump to conclusions. You're strong. We just gotta assume that the pros here are gonna be monsters. Send me, send out another me. Twice. We need to pin these pros down. Send more fodder and you'll get the same result again. Leave it to me! And as Midori is using his legs to run through the force, almost there. Hey, look! Sensei! Midori. Sensei! Glad I found you! It's really bad. There's a lot I gotta tell you, but... First off, there's something Mandalay has to hear. Take Koda with you. We got He's got a water-based cork, so please protect him. I said wait. Please and thanks! Wait, Midoriya. Those wounds. You've gone and done it again. Crush your bones to dust. Oh, no, but as I was saying, tell her this. God, no, stay back. Let me get my item. The villain's reading every move of my cat combat. As both uh, Tiger and Magne are fighting, Pixie Bob is facing off against Spinner. Tenacious is what I call you, Sham. Now be a good girl and get purged. Then all of a sudden, Midoriya jumps through and smashes his weapon with his feet. Mandalay, Koda safe! You... Ah! I got a message from Aizawa Sensei. Use telepathy to tell everyone. From here... From how they talk, seems like you students are the targets, so we've got no choice. This is a matter of survival. You should defend yourselves. As for what comes after, tell everyone in classes A and B. I'll take the heat as... Uh, tell everyone in classes A and B to... F that pro hero racer head says it's okay to fight back. I'll take the heat myself. Don't let them get you while we're still in the dark, future heroes. Ooh, people about to fight now. Chapter 78, Whirling Chaos. Shoot, I forgot to tell Midor... Shoot, I forgot to tell Midoriya to head for safety afterwards. I really messed that one up. The only reason he can mo even move right now with those wounds is because of all the endorphins pumping through his system. Once he accomplishes the mission, they'll stop flowing and his body will shut down. Hey, mister, is he gonna be okay? Hmm? I punched him the other day. But still, he went and got all beat up trying to save me. I didn't get a chance to tell him sorry or thank you. I hope he's okay. He's fine. He got beat up like that because he has no intention of dying. As his teacher, though, I'll still have to give him grief for it. So once all this madness is over, you can tell him. 
Just focus on a nice big thank you. Eraser, you sure about this? Tell everyone in classes A and B to fight back. Oh, it's about to go down. And some of these pages are actually kind of faded. It's all good. Still good, though. Thanks for the message, bud. Get back to camp now. Those injuries look nasty. No, sorry. I mean, there's one more thing I need you to relay. One of the villain's targets is Kachan. Use your telepathy, please. Kachan? Who's that? Hold on a sec! That rumbling earlier, there's only two among us who fight with brute strength like that, and if they leak that info, that it must be. But how could this tiny kid beat that bloodthirsty muscle head? Did he really lose in a battle of strength? Yeah, this kid. We really ought to kill him. Huh? Don't touch him, big sis mag! What's the big idea? He's on the high priority kill list. That's something personal for Shigaraki. What exactly did you come here to do, Spitter? Stain went out of his way to save that brat. That must mean he's got what it takes to be a real hero. And when it comes to Stain's will, I obey- And then he gets knocked out. Finally, got a solid hit. He ran off. I might as well broadcast this message. One of the villain's targets has been identified. It's the student known as Kachan. Who's that? Bakugo? Bakugo? Everyone get that? Everyone get that? Kachan! Kachan needs to avoid battle and don't make any move alone! I have to endure. I got to do the job. And this dude is having teeth. What is he having come out of his mouth? It's nasty. Don't charge in recklessly. Didn't you just hear that? They're after you. Yap, yap, yap inside our darn heads. What's that little freak Deku go and do now? First it's fight, now it's don't fight. Come on! I think I'll just do what I want. And a jagged edge just comes straight at him. But uh, Todoroki uses his ice. He's making great use of both the terrain and his quirk. Even though that jerk looks like a real weakling. <clears throat> I gotta be careful with the voices. He's clearly been in a lot of battles. Show me flesh. Death Row inmate escaped convict Moonfish. If we set any big fires, they could spread and get everyone killed. You get that? Shut up, I know that. And if we retreat, we run into the gas. This is obviously a trap. And as they're still running through, as the students of Class B are still running through there. Hear that, Kendo? We're allowed to kick some butt! I said, wait, Tetsu Tetsu, don't you understand? This gas is... Bad news, yeah, I know, I'm not an idiot. You are an idiot! Mandalay didn't mention the gas at all. That means it hasn't spread within view of the clearing. It's just weird, the gas seems to be flowing in a set direction. Normally it would just disperse and fade. Take a look, the gas is thicker here than where we started. So what you're saying is, I think it's swirling around some sort of origin point, like a typhoon. That must mean there must be... That means there must be someone in the middle who's shooting out and controlling the gas. Kendo, you're a genius! That's why I'm the only one following you. Then why am I the only one following you? Jeez. Alright then, if the gas gets thicker as we head towards the center, then we're against the clock. Because the filters in these gas masks can only do so much. The thicker the gas, the less time they support our breathing. In that case, we better make a mad dash for the center! And we get to kick some butt, right? Hmm, yeah, I guess. What a one-track mine, yet. This darn gas is causing trouble for Shiozaki and the rest. I don't like it, it takes me off! Let's friggin' do this, Kendo! I can't say I don't like it. I can't say I don't like that about him. Yeah. And then we got to do it in the middle. Coming right for me. Three, no, two, perhaps. Someone must have caught on and started charging in. I'd expect no less from an elite school, but unfortunately for them, no matter how great their quirks, whoa, they're only human. And there's a gunshot. That sound? A gunshot? I wonder if everyone's okay. Kachan's team was the second to start the test of courage. If they hadn't moved, then they won't be far from here. Then we see a massive hand come through the forest. Huh? Shoji? Those wounds. You shouldn't be moving around in that state. 
running around trying to save everyone, you're full of surprises. Just now, what was that? Yep, it was a sneak attack from a villain. I took the hit for us, but it ended up triggering his quirk even though he tried to control it. So if you want to pass through here, he's the first problem we've got to deal with. The darker it is, the more ferocious my quirk attacks, but then the beast is hard to control. It's Tokoyami! Get away from me! It'll kill you! Tokoyami! Chapter 79, Drive It Home, Iron Fist. The immortal Iron Fist? What happened, Shoji? Keep it down. When Mandalay told us not to engage the attacking villains, we went on high alert. Moments later, I heard the trees giving way behind us. We were attacked by a villain. He came at us with lightning flash blades that morphed. I lost an arm protecting Tokoyami, but we managed to hide in the underbrush. An arm? I mean, the wound looks bad, but you still got your arm. With my dupla arms, any parts I duplicate can go on to create additional duplicates. What got cut off was one of the spare arms. One root can even produce two separate parts, but he has less control. Duplicate parts sprout from here. The duplicate arms makes more duplicates. However, he couldn't take it. The quirk he struggled to contain started to rampage. And Dark Shadow's literally just going ham on the whole environment. Just going savage. The darker it is, the less he can control it. Who knew it was such a temperamental quirk? Not to mention his regrets and it regrets indignation and other emotions and probably making it worse too so try as he might to control it and there and it's still dark shadow still lashing out it still attacks indiscriminately at the smallest movement or sound he's turned into a monster don't worry about me find the others save them calm yourself dark shadow we need light or fire, he might calm down if we lead him to camp. Midoriya, no matter what I'm up against, I'll never be the kind of guy who abandons a suffering friend. You're worrying about your old buddy, right? That's why you're still out here, all messed up. If you think you can still go, I'll try to lead back. I'll try to lead Dark Shadow a, a way to clear a path. Hold on, whether you choose the camp or the forest fire, you've got some real distance to cover. It's way too dangerous, Shoji. And they're whispering. But of course, Dark Shadow keeps hearing them and keeps swiping at them. I know that. Saving someone always comes with risks. Heroes aren't called heroes for nothing. Will you help me save Tokoyami or rush to Bakugo's aid? Which will it be, Midoriya? I'm sorry, Shiroji. And then we cut back to the Poison Cloud. Right. We know there are a couple of hardeners. I guess my gun won't work then. Doesn't really matter, though, because in the midst of this gas, it's only a matter of time before you breathe your last. A pistol? Seriously? And he shot my mask right off. What's up with this pipsqueak? He's wearing a school uniform. He's gotta be our age, or younger. Does he think he's got me beat? And as he tries to come at the dude with the mask, the guy shoots him. Coming at me like the Terminator, huh? And why are, you, why are you just charging in like a madman? Give me a break. You're getting a top-notch education at a famous school. At least show some, at least use some strategy. If not, you're barely worth killing. Then we got Kendo coming in. Oh, he jumps in the way of Kendo. Tetsu Tetsu! No good. Retreat! <laughs> it's two on one. So, one of you decided to hide for a sneak attack. Simple. Pitifully simple. I'm creating this gas and controlling it. Every move you make creates ripples and tells me where you are. There's no hiding from me. Why that's so unthinkable? Why that's so unthinkable to you? You're from UA, so show me something more. I guess I'll forgive you for an attack like that. Tetsu Tetsu, you're bleeding. <sighs> Ah, and Tetsu Tetsu just keeps trying to charge at him. Wait, you dummy! Fool! And then he shoots Tetsu Tetsu again. Point blank. It seems that you're softer than before. Is that metal skin losing its edge? Isn't it getting hard to breathe? How long will you last? How much longer can you steal yourself? Simple hardening types like you often end up as physical brawlers. 
guys who rush in without thinking. Hey, aren't you supposed to be heroes someday? It doesn't make much sense to me how a simpleton like you gets praised because of your school's reputation. You're pampered by the world just because you're a, uh, your alma mater. Don't you think it's not right? Darn, can't breathe. My eyes, everything going dizzy. Tetsu, Tetsu! Like I said, I can detect your every movement. And she managed to land a hit on him using her enlarged hand quirks. Just reading our moves isn't enough. Don't look so smug over your lame quirk. And he disappears into... He disappears into a smoke cloud. Whether it's lame or not depends on how you use it. And she uses her giant hands in order to swipe away all the poison in the area, giving them a chance to be able to see the guy. The gas is blowing away. Those are some powerful hands. You're the fool, Mr. School Uniform. Carrying a gun around is just another way of saying you've got no confidence in a fight. Because at least us simple minds at UA... Why, you... Thing get the gas thinned out and I didn't notice him coming. Because at least us simple minds at UA have grown beyond the point of ever thinking that there's no hope. And Tetsu Tetsu just slams the dude into the ground, breaking mask and all, still holding his breath. The gas, it's dispersing. Ah, it's a gas user's. Ah, if a gas user's using a gas mask, then smashing it's, then smashing it's your best bet. Using a gas mask, then smashing it's your best bet, you dummy. That's what you get for busting up our training camp, you little brat. And then we still have the teeth guy going after Todoroki. I can't get close to him. I guess I have no choice but to blast him. Guess to, to blast him with full power. No, if the trees catch fire, just cover them with your eyes. An explosion would block our field of vision. What happens if it doesn't finish him off? He's got us beaten both range and firepower. There, I see ice. They must be fighting. Huh? And who's that over there? Oh, snap! It's Shoji! It's Shoji and Midoriya. And it appears they got someone with them. Bakugo, Todoroki, one of you, please. Flesh, give us some light. And... Dark Shadow just completely bodies the Tooth Guy. I'm sorry, Shoji, but I've got an idea. If it's reacting to sound, then why not use your duplicate parts as bait? That way we can lead it without getting attacked ourselves. Then we'll lead it to Kachan. His explosion should keep Dark Shadow at bay. So when you ask who I want to save, I say both. Kachan! Now we're on the last chapter. Chapter 80. Establishing the Bakugo Bodyguard Brigade. Shoji, Midoriya, and Tokoyami. Tokoyami? Give us some light! Quick, Tokoyami's on the rampage! Attacking indiscriminately. A good fire should. Wait, moron. And as the f teeth guy starts to get up. Flesh. No good. Flesh. Need flesh. No good. No good. Can't forgive you. I'll be the one to see those boys' innards. Do not snatch my prizes. And Dark Shadow just catches all of that. Don't. Test me, you vermin! Just watch. And he just... While he's holding on with the guy, he literally just... Pile drives him through, I don't know how many trees. I see at least about 20 trees. There's more than 10. And he just smacks him through every single one of those trees. That is such a long distance away. Still not enough need to rage. And they both come down in dark shadow with an explosion and fire from Todoroki and Bakugo. <sighs> I'm your worst possible matchup, see? Thank you. I'm saved. We were struggling just to survive against that guy, but in an instant, you. You okay, Tokoyami? Good job following my instructions. Good job following my instructions. 
Tokoyami, don't struggle. Just give in to Dark Shadow. Shoji, I'm sorry. You too, Midoriya. My spirit is still lacking. The moment your spare arm went flying, I gave in to the rage and unleashed Dark Shadow. It was the deep darkness of the night, along with my own anger. They combined to spur me into a frenzy, but then he grew beyond my control and wound up injuring you, Shoji. Making good time. Save that for later. I know that's what you would say. Right! We know that one of the villain's main targets is Kachan. Bakugo? They're after him? But why? Not sure. At any rate, Vlad King and Azawa Sensei are both at, are both back at camp. Having two pro heroes there probably makes it the safest spot around. I see. So our mission is to safely deliver Bakugo to camp. But last I saw, the Pussycats were fighting villains in the clearing. We're sure to get spotted by vi those villains and lose time if we take the path. So let's cut through. But we're not so sh we're not sure. But we're not sure how many there are. A villain could still pop up anywhere. And that's Todoroki speaking. Huh. That's where Shoji's sensing abilities come in. We also got your eyes, Todoroki. And if it's all right, Tokoyami, there's still your invincible dark shadow, which we've got the means to control now. And Bakugo's just looking around like, why are y'all talking like I'm not even here? A lineup like this might even give All Might a scare. What the heck is all this about? You stay in the middle of the group. No one's protecting me, you dweebs! Let's move! A bit earlier... Is your arm okay, Ochako? And it appears that Uraraka and Asui are up against Toga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Too shallow. Not enough. What kind of jerk comes out swinging with a knife like that? I'm Toga, and you two are really cute. Uraraka and Asui. They know our names from the sports festival. Probably. People found out a lot about us then. Puts us at a disadvantage. But so little blood is no fun. Usually with a good wound, I can suck it all out. Suck, suck. Well, slurp, slurp in the... here. With this little machine, a little cut's all I need to drain you dry, making my job so easy. So I'm gonna stab you. She's charging! Oh, Jocko! And also uses her tongue to throw her out of the way. Run back to camp! Getting permission to fight doesn't mean, didn't mean we should beat the villains. It means that we should protect ourselves. That's the kind of guy Aizawa Sensei is. You too, Asui! Of course, me too! And her tongue gets cut. Sue you. You too, sue you. Of course, me too. Uh, sue you. Ribbit. Sue you. Little sue you. Cute name. I'm gonna call you that. Cut it out. Only people who are my friends can call me that. Oh, well, guess that makes us friends. Yay! Sue you. You're bleeding already, sue you. My good friend. Isn't blood cute? I love it so. Get away from her! Against a knife-wielding opponent, spinning on one leg and vanish from the opponent's line of sight. Grab the wrist and nape of the neck. Press down hard and yank! This is the close combat training I learned during my internship. This is the close combat training I learned during my internship. GMA! Gunhead Martial Arts! So you get her hands... So you get her hands with your tongue. Tie her up. Can you do that? You heard? That was awesome, Ochako. Give me a sec with the tongue. With the tongue. And as they hold her down, Ochako, you're a lovely one too. You've got the same scent as me. There's someone you're crushing on. And you're thinking you want to be just like him. I can tell one made into another. And as she's having flashbacks, what? How'd she... Of course, you want to be like the one you love. It's natural, so you end up decking yourself out to look like him. But he, after enough time, even that's not enough. You literally want to become him. There's no helping you. So what's your type? I love tattered guys reeking of blood. That's why I always carve people up in the end. Right, Ochako? It's fun, right? And she doesn't pay attention to the fact that the girl stabbed her in the leg to get some blood. A good romance is so much fun. Oh, Jocko! Suck, suck. Suck, suck. Suck, suck. Uruaka? Shoji, guys! Oh, darn. 
There are too there are too many now, and I don't feel like dying. Bye bye. And as she gets one last glance, she sees Midoriya. Wait! Careful, we still got no clue what her quirk is. Who was that girl? A villain. She was nuts. Uraka, you're hurt. I'm fine. I can walk anyway. But look at you, Deku. This is no time to stand around. Let's keep moving. I'm just glad you two are okay. Oh, I know. Come with us. We're guarding Kanchan and heading for camp. Huh? Guarding Bakugo? Then where is he? Huh? What do you mean? He's right behind us. In a crisis like this, none of us thought we'd gotten careless. Looking for him? Looking for him? I've taken him with my magic. He's not a resource that belongs on the hero's side. We're going to put him on a stage where he can really shine. What? Give him back! And that ends uh, volume 9 of My Hero Academia. Hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. I am enjoying this so much, but it is now 6 o'clock. It is getting around the time where I just chill before because I got to go to work tonight again and then work tonight and work tomorrow night as well. <sighs> I had fun reading for you guys once again. I love this. And now I'm actually starting to cut back on how long I do these now. So hope you all enjoyed. I can't wait to see you all in the next videos. Have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples!